The Virtual Endurance Championship, six hours of Interlagos. 35 cars, 20 of which are GT cars. You know the drill by now. Let's go racing for six hours. Green flag. Starting from 13th on the grid, Jules immediately jumped up into 12th off the line and settled in. Okay, good stuff. Doing really well. What Bowie's engine? After gaining several more spots, the Aston and Porsche behind started to show their speed. This put us 8th in the running, and Jules stayed there for most of the first hour. One more prototype behind. And then box, box, box. Jules had a relatively quiet stint as we came out in 9th, with a Ferrari having undercut us in the full pit rotation. But then an Aston Martin dropped back with damage, so we remained 8th for most of the second stint as well. Alright, pit this lap. No changes requested. Okay. Thank you, Ritos. I have your name. Okay, you're going to have a clear track for entry. And bring it in. Okay, 62 okay. seconds. Good running, Jules. Well, I did my best. Um, uh, be careful if you are closely following someone at turn 4. Uh, you will have no braking power because of the draft. And other than that, the LMPs are pretty good, I think. Uh, if you choose your line early enough, it will be okay. Okay. Your stint was difficult because of lower grip and... Yeah. The cars being close behind uh, everybody, you know, we have a lot of uh, understeer. Second stint was better, I think. Okay, prepare to have fun. Greg got in and immediately was chasing down core team for seventh. Nice job, Greg. You're matching lap times to the car ahead. After taking 7th on track, we passed the car in the lane to move up to 6th, 9 seconds behind the championship leader. He lost a lot of time in traffic. Slow car ahead. Then the 4th place Ferrari got collected by an incident on track, moving us up to 5th. Thomas Hins must have had a massive shunt because he's been in the pits for a couple laps. So we are 5th and secure. The two Blackhawk racing Aston Martins were running bumper to bumper for third and fourth, with Greg about 10 seconds behind in fifth. Okay, cards ahead overtook each other. And pit now, pitting with the other cars.
The Mercy did not take tires. He did not. He was struggling though, so we'll probably catch him back up. Shane looks like he's taking tires. Alright, they switched drivers. So we'll see what this guy can do. We're gonna have a clear track on exit. Mercy's been off. He's slower ahead. He just slapped the wall into the pits. All right, good stuff, good stuff. And with that, we were in fourth, but the race was about to get a little bit more interesting. Rain. Okay, let's feel it out. Is it heavy? Uh, it's just starting. Okay, I see it on stream. Tracks at 7%, 9 Okay, prep your rain tires. And a full tank. Okay, everyone's boxing. You can do a wing adjustment to four if you need. Slow car ahead. jimmied into my pit box somehow, and the car behind me got damaged, but I don't think it hit us. Meanwhile, the second place Ferrari was leaving his pit box right as a prototype was reversing to get into his box, having missed it because the Ferrari was right in front of it, damaging the P2 Ferrari and resulting in them needing to come back in for repairs. This is the event that gave us third in class, but it would take us a while to realize we even got into third. At the same time, right behind this Ferrari, the core team Porsche went for a ride in what was a crazy pit lane scramble all up and down the pit lane. Yeah, this uh, pit lane is very... Oh, come on, back up, you idiot! Back up! He just ran into a straight. I hope it didn't cause damage. We'll see. We'll see. Do you have any damage? No, I do not. Okay, good stuff. Copy. So we ended up third in all that. Something happened to RC in that pit shabazzle. There's a lot of people struggling on track right now. So just take it easy. Let's see if it starts to dry or if it comes back. We come to code 80 in 10 seconds, no overtaking. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, code 80 enforced. Well, that's disappointing. The second place Blackhawk took this opportunity to pit under code 80 and go for slick tires on this drying track. And we moved into second for the time being. Next up, we stop to get John in the car on slick tires. Are you kidding me?
What happened? The P2 is in the box fine. again. Okay, so John, on the long straightaway to the start finish line, you have to stay on the dry line. There's just no option about it. All right. And it looks like you're going to have a lot of difficulty here. You can pull forward and then reverse and then straight out again. If I reverse it right now, it's not going to make it. He's like two feet behind you. You have to go forward. So go forward as far as you can. If you can't do it, then reverse again and then get her out. Okay. Pit lane is clear. Go ahead. All right. Slippery out. Take it really slow. Very slow. Like first gear slow. Slow car ahead. Traffic control all the way up. You are clear behind you. John took to the road with good pace, but the track was still very wet just offline. You have any damage? No, it's fine. At this point, we were a minute behind championship leaders Blackhawk Racing and couldn't quite match their pace. At the same time, we were 30 seconds ahead of core team and just focusing on maintaining third to them and keeping an eye on Blackhawk ahead. Another Code 80 came out and it was still too early for us to stop for fuel. Blackhawk Racing did pit, however, and got back on target to only need one more stop to get to the end. A short while later, we had another Code 80 due to this incident that happened right behind us. Oh, a big crash behind. Let's I wonder split. if I should pit uh, for fuel. Yeah, do it now. Uh, tires tires are good. Fuel. Okay, if you don't want to do tires, then just do a full tank. And go now. All right, I'm pitting. Okay. 56 minutes left, so we got time, right? Yep, yep, we're good. Okay. John comfortable on the tires and electing not to get new ones. And with that, we were good to go to the end as we entered the final hour, still in third place. And with 30 minutes to go, Blackhawk Racing looked to be a secure second. Okay, looks like there was a four car pileup and it took out Blockhawk. I'm sure you noticed. What's our position? We are P2. Alright. And the racing line is wide, but still the four percent on the offline. Yeah, just take it nice and easy. We got over a lap either way, so. Just want to bring it home without any anything, basically. <laughs> Alright, tires are 67, 65, 10 liters in the tank. That's it. We got P2, eh? Very, very nicely done. That is P2. We uh, maintain P3 in the championship moving towards Le Mans, so still possible uh, to you know move up to second or first at Le Mans. Just depends. It's pretty 
it's pretty far off. So we we have ninety seven points now. Uh, Pulse has one hundred and twenty one, and Blackhawk has one hundred and thirty two. But it's double points in Le Mans, so you gotta consider that too. Yeah, yeah. So it is it is possible. It is mathematically possible, as they say. Yeah. All right. All right. Good race. It was really good.